guitar. For centuries, it has been used as an instrument of song. At TNA, a guitar is known to be played a different way. To play it properly, you grip it firmly by the neck and smash it over your opponent's head. At Hard Justice, after numerous run-ins with Sting's signature bat, TNA World Heavyweight Champion Samoa Joe found himself in possession of a guitar, using it to reclaim his title from Booker T. Two weeks ago, a guitar mysteriously appeared in the hands of AJ Styles, helping him defeat Kurt Angle. And last week, in a desperate moment, a guitar appeared for AJ, helping him beat Kurt Angle once again. Now, the mystery of the guitar continues. Who is behind this mystery, and what is their purpose? For weeks, the wrestling world has been speculating on who is the individual that's behind the mystery of the guitar. Mike, it seems that everywhere we go, whether it's airports, whether it's hotels, restaurants, people come up to us and they want to talk about who's behind the guitar shots. I'll tell you this, for years in professional wrestling, the guitar, it's been synonymous with just one man. Wrestling is my passion, it's my life. Me and my father, in the early part of 2002, founded the company. June 19, 2002, the dream became a reality. The early days of TNA were great. Hulk Hogan was negotiating to uh, come to TNA. You know, the days were so lean back then, I actually cashed in my miles and flew to Japan. Instead of Hulk Hogan coming to TNA, I took TNA to Hulk Hogan. We did it! The winner of the match, and still, yes! In every athlete's career, there comes a time that you just gotta step back and refocus and rethink on your career. You know, I've done more in this business than I've ever dreamed I'd do. A skinny punk kid, come as far as I have, carried a company on my back for four and a half years, started it from scratch. But there comes a time when you just gotta step back and rethink things. But you know, along the way, maybe I've dropped the ball on some personal things, and professional things, but I'm going home. My wife, Jill, she's the one who gave me the, the real encouragement. She did everything she possibly could to make TNA exist, and not just by her words and her support, but by her actions. She's the one who had the real passion, not just for this business, not just for our kids, not just for our marriage, but for life.